What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Kid Kari, man. You guys already know me, Rocket Man. And today we are back with another video. I kind of needed to do this video because one, I need you guys to know that I really care about you guys and what the things that I'm going through throughout all my vlogs and things like that. Um, I just really wanted to let you guys know like where I'm at in life and the things that I'm doing. I feel like this update Q and A type of thing is really important. And you know, without further ado, let's just get straight into it because I'm I'm excited to see y'all's questions. So let's get it. So some of my questions as well, I asked people on my Instagram and my YouTube to uh, ask some questions. So yeah, I'm just gonna read off some of those. First question is, how do you get up early when you feel tired? What do you try to remember? What's your motivation? So I'm not even gonna lie. The first thing that I do. <laughs> When I wake up in the morning is I go straight to the bathroom and I rinse cold water on my face because that's just going to get me warmed up. And then I put on some motivation, some motivational videos and things like that just to, you know, get my mind going and fuel myself up. I, I try to remember like the main thing that I focus on like when I'm going out to do my grind is um, my family because my family is the one that keeps me grounded and I care so much and want to do so much for them. And so anything that I do in life is always for them. I'm really huge on, you know, doing the things that God called me to do. I'm just very motivated to do things for my family as well as myself. Um, so you got to come in with a lot of self-motivation and just be like, yo, like this is the day. This is another day that God <laughs> woke me up. I'm here to do this. We're on a mission. Let's get it. Like nothing's getting in the way today. We're going to be great. Let's get it. Somebody asked. Um, what advice would you give your younger self? I would say to be more fearless because when I was younger, man, like I was a lot more timid. I wasn't the way I am now. I was always just afraid of people's opinions and always afraid of what, how things would go. And I would be really nervous sometimes. Like in anything that I do, I would just be nervous. Like if I was playing low competition in basketball, I know I can kill them. But then if I played higher competition, like playing against guys that I can actually like, that actually are better than me, I would get nervous and I wouldn't perform the way I would. So um, I would say be more fearless in just anything that I do. What's your goal with basketball? I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, I'm trying to get to the NBA. That has always been my full-time dream since I was like six years old. So I've always watched Tracy Mc... I, oh, first of all, like I always had the games, like I always had like NBA Live, NBA Street. Like I had every single, NBA street ball game. like I had every basketball game you can think of bro when I was younger even to this day like I'm still playing 2k and things like that but anyway that's besides the point I'm trying to get to the league like point blank period like that's always been my dream and I'm not letting nobody stop me from doing what I want to do I just honestly really don't care about what the st st statistics say I don't care about anything like that I don't care about you know, I'm, I'm obviously big on how things like how things work and the politics that are going on with it. But regardless, man, like I'm on a mission like this is what I want to do and I'm going after it. Like nobody's stopping me and doing this, bro. So if you're in my way, then you're in my way. You're just going to get stomped on. So that's just how it is. Angie asked, why did you start this channel? Um, I started this YouTube channel because originally, if you look back like all the way down to my old videos. I was just posting my basketball highlights, man. Like I was mainly using it for that just to get myself exposure for uh, myself. At the time there was like these things called like hoop mixtape and balls life and all of them. I knew they wasn't gonna come see me. I wasn't popular around that time. So the only way I knew to get myself exposed out to the world in a good way was to um, make my own mixtapes and make my own stuff. I would always hustle and try and find somebody to record me while we're doing it. Matter of fact, it would be Lance. We would record each other's games. We would record each other playing and things like that, so it would help each other out. Man, like I said, man, I just used it for my own mixtapes to get exposure to like college coaches and people can see me on social media and things like that. So mainly for self-exposure, but then after get into a lot of self-motivation and to encouraging others to be their best version of themselves and um, that became a really important asset in my life because it just wasn't about me and um, I really want to encourage a lot of people to follow their dreams and to do what God has called them to do and that's always been extremely important in my life so that's one of the reasons why I started this YouTube channel and to, and to also document my life because I'm very huge on um, documents and like seeing the progress coming in life and just seeing myself grow so that's very important for me so that's one of the reasons why i started this youtube channel what's the most important thing in your basketball journey or to keep you focused 
Um, I would say keeping God first. Definitely keeping God first and regardless of whatever you're doing, whatever it is, bro, like, you always have to keep God first because without God, like, you're not going to be able to do anything. I just, I'm a firm believer that God, it, God is the source and God is everything. Like, God is, God, God is God. My dad tells me this all the time. If you think of the word good, good is just God stretched out. And that right there, that that's crazy. Do you currently hoop for a basketball team? I played post-grad and... We had a good season and everything. Unfortunately, my coach ended up, um, there was some things that happened with um, my coach and things like that. So uh, things happened with there. It was it was a good season. Um, I appreciate all the guys that I play with and things like that. So right now I'm just trying to figure out the next move, the next school I want to go to and figure out the, you know, the best way I can get more opportunity and things like that. So, um, and you know all this stuff going on with the coronavirus is a lot going on so yeah that's really it matter of fact it's funny because somebody just asked this question too how you hold up against the virus the corona that's what y'all are saying bro the corona i'm doing good my family's doing good that's all i really care about man we're, we're definitely heavy on cleaning and sanitizing everything but we ain't freaking overdoing everything like oh my god we gotta wipe this stuff. no we ain't we ain't doing crazy stuff like that we're not exaggerating it but you know we're keeping good we're, we're isolating um we're, we're we're fine what motivates you during the day i would definitely say the grind man like just being able to grind and hustle and doing just just working man like just being able to do what god has called you to do and to put in the work that's mainly the most important thing like enjoying the process loving the work loving what you do loving your craft um, whether it's me playing basketball or me writing more pages in my new book, shameless plug, yes, I'm writing a new book. It's almost done. So make sure y'all, I don't even gotta say too much. But anyway, whether it's me making YouTube videos, man, like I just love how everything is coming together. I love to motivate and to encourage others. And just knowing that God gave me another day, another opportunity to do all these different things, man. So that's what keeps me motivated. Especially, especially my family, bro. Especially the family. They always keep me fueled up and always remind me of why I gotta work hard every day. So um, definitely loving my family. I, I appreciate them so much, man. How often or do you write down what you'll do in your basketball weight training sessions? Before I do my workouts, I always plan out the things that I want to work on but on during the workout. So if I'm so for example, right, if I'm playing basketball, if I'm gonna go train for basketball, um, I'd write down, all right, I wanna work on my handles today. I wanna work on change of speed, you know what I mean? So I take the drills and then I would use it and apply it or I would use the moves that they use in the um, the games, like the NBA players, I would use what the moves that they're using in the game and I'll just work on it. As far as weight training, um, so right now I built up a team. I, leg like, I legit manually like reached out to people. So right now I have my own team that I started to um, build on now. So I have a strength and conditioning uh, trainer, speed and endurance trainer, and I also have my basketball trainer. So now I'm working on that and not each of those categories, we are both taking notes on what we are, um, what we're working on and the progress and things like that. So it, it's usually the same thing with basketball. So like if I wanted to work on my arms the next day, I'd be like, all right, so what are some tricep, you know, what are some biceps, shoulders, chest, like, or, you know, things like that. I would look up some videos. All right, this is going to be extremely helpful. And then I would, you know, write them down in my notes on my phone and then you know go from there use your resources bro like just use your resources there's a lot of people out there that have there's a lot of people on instagram that um make workout videos or even do basketball training videos and things like that just look it up there's a lot of people out there there's no excuse for you not to be great bro so use your resources the hardest thing about doing youtube oh man i definitely would say um trying to please everybody there's a lot of people that expect things from you they try to critique you on certain things that you should do oh i think you should do this video i think you should do this now there's nothing wrong with being open to do videos. It's just how they approach you with it and how they t like literally tell you like, I don't like this video. Okay, cool, you don't have to like the video then. Just don't watch it. Like I don't, for me, like I do these videos because I love doing these videos. In life, bro, you're not gonna be able to please everybody, bro. So at the end of the day, like regardless if I'm doing whatever I'm doing, I'm not really gonna care about your opinion, bruh. Like, legit, man. Look at this last question. Somebody, somebody said, do you have a girlfriend? Nope. 
definitely don't have no dang girlfriend, bro. <sighs> That's the end of this Q&A. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm, I'm actually really glad that I did this just so you guys can get an update on where I am. I'm just really glad I did this video, man. It feels good to kind of see what people are thinking of about me. And I really enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, what is wrong with me today? Uh, come on, man. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and uh, what was it? Oh, subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the post notifications because if you haven't, yo, then you're honestly really tweaking, bro. I don't know what you're doing. But hey, I'm going to holler at y'all in the next video. Keep Kyrie, man. I'm out, bro. Peace.